I know you want a healthier body And you want to ease your soul, ease your soul. So here's some medicine to heal the world So grow with herbs for health Welcome back to another episode of Herbs for Health Thank you guys for joining me once again on my continuous episodes that I do post every week. Now this video is a little different um, than the other videos you see me post. So I've been posting about my, um, my weight loss journey and also I've been posting about an herb of the week. However, I am going to be talking about my educational path in this video. And it's probably something you guys can help me out with or share your thoughts uh, with me as well. So I do look for feedback and it's just something that I find um, very interesting to talk about um, because I don't really see a lot of herbalists um, talk about things like this. So some of you guys may know and some of you don't. But I am actually in school pursuing my bachelor's of health science degree, which I am almost done. I only have a few more credits left and next year I'll be graduating. Now, this leads me into um, thinking, you know, <laughs> where do I want to go next? And I have idea and I you know where I kind of want to go but I'm kind of torn between the two things that I've been thinking about one of the things I've been thinking about pursuing is becoming a physician assistant and the other one is a, a medical scientist now I have my reasons on why I want to pursue these things um, as a herbalist a lot of us don't actually get a lot of credit or um, a lot of people don't take us serious because we don't have the extensive training um, like a doctor or any other healthcare providers there in the field. However, we are very knowledgeable when it comes to uh, medicinal herbs and how to use them and how to take them. And we can tell you uh, what to use them for and we oftentimes can tell you, you know, what these medicinal herbs interact with. However, you know, herbalists do not have the ability to treat and diagnose. We can only, you know, teach and give recommendations, you know, and educate you. And it stops there. Now, with me becoming an herbalist, uh, I did go to a school that taught me about herbal medicines and it taught me about the body. And I also taken some courses on my own as well to teach me these things too. And I will leave the school link down below if anyone else is interested. And it is a fully accredited school as well. Um, but I don't want to just be a herbalist. I want to give my customers or clients however you want to call it um more i want to be able to do more for them um so i'm trying to decide between becoming a medical scientist or a physician assistant and i talked to a few other people about this as well and i'll tell you my reasonings on why i want to you know either go either route first i was thinking about the physician assistant because being a physician assistant, you do pursue your uh, master's degree. So the program is only two years and in some, um, some schools, the program might be two and a half years for you to receive your master's uh, physician assistant degree. And it's, it's kind of like medical school you know, you have your didactic year where you're doing classroom time. And then within your second year, you're doing your residency and the specialty that you wish to work in. Um, and I thought that this would be perfect for me because, you know, it's not it's gonna take as long as medical school. 
I can treat and diagnose under the supervision of a doctor. Um, there's more learning that I'll be able to get um, being a physician assistant. And also I'll have that, that patient uh, 101. I'll have that, um, I'll gain the experience of seeing and talking to patients and just seeing how things will operate in the hospital or wherever it is I'm going to do my residency. Um, and also, being a physician assistant has so many benefits. Uh, when it comes to uh, being a physician assistant, you can switch your specialties. Um, and you don't have to uh, go back to school to do that. You know, a medical doctor, they choose one specialty and that's what they do, you know, for the rest of their career, unless they go back to school, um, back med medical school to do a different specialty. So, I really like the physician assistant career path because there's so many opportunities, um, there's so many different things that you can do. And I was thinking about uh, becoming a medical scientist because being a medical science, there medical scientist, there is a lot of research and reading involved. Um, but you get to work in a lab and you get to research a lot of these things um, that people wonder about today you get to be involved in a lot of this um, study when it comes to medical research. And one of the things that I in particularly want to do is basically see how these medicinal herbs really affect different diseases when it comes to using um, them in the human body. And there's a lot more I want to do with that. Now, with being a medical scientist, uh, you do have to go to medical school as well. So that's four years in, within itself. Now, what makes me gear more towards being a uh, physician assistant is the fact that with being a physician assistant, I can still do medical research. There has been um, a lot of information out there from physician assistants who actually do medical research and um, they love it. Like I said, if I ever wanted to switch that specialty, I can, I can do that. So I'm gaining so much experience being a physician assistant because I do have the opportunity to, to um, switch different specialties. So right now, uh, the physician assistant career path is looking very promising for me, but it's very competitive. It's very, very competitive to get into the school. Now, I believe that I can get in. Um, my grades are looking pretty good right now. Um, I have A's in both of my classes, so I'm taking like two courses at a time so that I won't be too overwhelmed. Um, and I'll still be done by next summer. So, you know, I'm still kind of thinking about it, but mm, kind of think I want to go with the PA school because it's a shorter time you have to spend in school. Then you get to work in the specialty that you like right away, you know. And then I don't necessarily have to do the four years of medical school. So, um, it's still something that I want to think about because there's so much stuff right now going on in the medical field with doctors and healthcare providers not being able to practice due to all of the things that's going on with the uh, pandemic. And you know what I'm talking about. You can look it up on YouTube here and see, you know, a lot of doctors have, you know, these issues with, um, you know, the V word. <laughs> Can't really say it on YouTube, but 
they're having those issues and physician assistants are nurses are everybody that's in the medical field but um I want to be able to give people more and I also want to build my credibility so I am you know I want you guys to know that I do have an education and with my health science education it opened my eyes to a lot of things like a lot of things to consider um it's just it's I, I love it I, I love it a lot and so we're kind of doing some career planning too because you know when you get into uh, your degree you get to that part of the degree where you're almost done you have to do career planning and stuff like that so um i just wanted to talk to you guys about that and this will probably give you a little more insight into my life and what i'm doing and what i want to uh, pursue and what type of herbalist that i'm trying to become for you I really want to do this because I want to help my community the best way that I can and I feel as though this will be the best way to help my community. A person that you can come to for some medical advice once I do get to that level. Right now, you can come to me about um, different herbs and I can tell you that. I can educate you on that, on how to take it and what is good for what and what not to take, you know, things like that. So I am definitely building my knowledge um, and I'm trying to create more content for you so that you can see uh, some of the knowledge that I have gained from being in school and from learning about herbs and I wanna present it to you so that you can take it for yourself and apply it to your life. But this has been another episode of Earth for Health. I do thank you so much for tuning in. Every time I post the video, it means so much. And also, I would like for you to comment, like, and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. What's your thoughts? What do you think about this? And, you know, we can have a conversation. Thank you all for watching. Y'all have a good day.